21 hours in theory it's going to take us to do this lock flight. I think Michael and I will be in bed before then. <laughs> Michael's words were to me as I exited that lock, don't worry if you go aground. Now we've got yeah, some little, news haven't we? A little bit of news for you. Yeah. Where are we? Do you know? <laughs> I'm just checking you know. We're in Wigan. Wigan. The home of a really nice band that we like, the Laphams or the Lathams. So yeah, we've got a couple of locks to do. Um, first one's with the anti-vandal key. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, queuing up at the um, start of the Wigan flight. 21 locks, which we're going to hope to do tomorrow in the pouring rain, so it should be fun. Uh, yeah, they've been closed for five weeks, but they're opening again tomorrow morning. Whoop, whoop. So yeah. we're here, ready and waiting. Well, waiting. Whether we're ready or not, that's a different question. We're going to get very, very wet, aren't we? absolutely drowned tomorrow maybe maybe not we'll see yeah. no such thing as bad weather remember it's bad clothing and we've got all the right gear we were just saying it's about two weeks since we've done any locks uh, because the bridgewater didn't have any locks and they've got anti-vandal key so i'm gonna have to figure out what to do oh so, uh, wish me luck so these are really different locks i've got one of these in addition to our normal key that we have this is an anti-vandal key and I've just figured out what to do. It's really easy. So this bit here, when it's locked in place, puts a little bolt against here, so you can't turn that. So to unlock it, which I'm gonna show you on the other lock, you put your anti-vandal key, you put your anti-vandal key in there and turn it, and when I turn it, and pops out like that. So I'm gonna go and do the other one now. So if I put the windlass on here and try and turn it, as you see, You'll just see that there is stopping the mechanism from operating. So the idea is that I use this anti-vandal key, I pop it in here, and as I turn that, watch what happens down there. Wait, there, it pops out, and that there pops out. So now, when I put my windlass on here, it, can, it will turn, it will freely turn. So I can wind the paddle up as normal. What confused us was, we've got all these padlocks here. Don't know what those padlocks are. I think it's probably to stop somebody um, stealing the mechanism. So yeah, so that's going up as you'd normally expect there. You'll also notice we've got this chain attached to the lock arm. And I think I wind that now and then it allows the lock gate, me to open the lock gate and close the lock gate. So I'm gonna give that a whirl as well. So this is a whole new little episode of how we use locks here. Michael's just chatting to some gongoozlers in the lock. There's anti-vandal on both the ground and the gate paddles. Um, and I suppose the trick is, you've got to remember to lock it all back up again when you, um, when you leave. So yeah, so that's just an extra tick you need to put in the box on doing these locks. And I think the Wigan flight that we're going to be doing hopefully in the morning is going to be the same. Yeah, so just uh, extra things for the brain to think about, which is good. Trying to get the anti-vandal open. Can't get that one to lock again. Okay. Jack's recruited some help. Yeah. You're explaining to that little girl what goes on with the lock. Just walking past with her mum. I always like to tell children how the locks work, if they're interested. It's part of our history in this country, isn't it? So it's important that they know a little bit about that. So just come through the two locks on the Lee branch um, towards the Wigan flight. It's really busy up there, so there's not much room. You can't go through until tomorrow morning, so 
got a bit of a potential tricky maneuver to come where I'm going to reverse hopefully into a spot uh, against the wind be quite tricky but we'll see when we get up there go behind the uh, Liberty boat so welcome to Wigan this is Wigan town centre definitely never been to Wigan before there we go so with a little assistance from the bow thruster not much but just to keep the bow under control Michael's just been complimented on how straight his line is he's going back yeah reverse. just a mixture of um, bow thruster and reverse a bit of forward yeah we're here now all good ready for the morning welcome to Wigan welcome to Wigan over the Lathams Lathams yeah. and Wigan Pier Wigan Pier. Wigan Pier is that way. Yeah, we should go and have, we should go and have a look. It was Motown, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think. Uh, no, it wasn't Motown. Northern Soul. Was it? Wigan Pier was Northern Soul. I like yeah. a bit of Northern Soul. A bit of shuffling. Can you shuffle? I can't dance to save my life. <laughs> but you know that. <laughs> I used to be able to. You've got some moves. I think I'd fall, uh, fall over now if I tried those moves. A bit of Northern Soul. They used to put talc on the floor, didn't they? So they could. Oh, yeah, did they? Yeah. No, oh, we can do that later. Maybe on the key on the key side here. Does anybody have talc anymore? Uh, I think it's actually been banned. Is it? Yeah, I think because of the um, the substances in it. Oh. Yeah. I used to use loads of it. If you know about talc, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, we've arrived. Let's talk about talc and powder. We've moved successfully in Wigan. Just before the flight of locks and I've just coming down to have a look at the first lock um, which we would be going through if we were going to Liverpool and that down there is the route to Liverpool but obviously we're not going to Liverpool we were going to go to Liverpool because the Wigan flight was closed and there was no real idea of when it was going to be reopened because there's a damage there was a damaged sill and there was a sinkhole uh, on one of the locks or two of the locks further up the flight so they obviously closed the flight um, and they said it was going to be a number of weeks before they were going to get the repairs done and get it back open so we thought well we'll go to Liverpool um, anyway plans change so many times when you're on an aeroboat because obviously you know, um, closures happen, um, damages to the locks happen, all sorts of things happen and the CRT have to close sections to do repairs and things. So we must have, we must have made plans, I don't know how many times, to, um, to go one way, then the other way, then change it all around again. Anyway, we were going to go to Liverpool but we're not now. But this is the first lock, if we were going to Liverpool, that we'd come through nine o'clock it's been absolutely throwing it down all night it's so wet out there wish us luck that's all I've got to say Wigan flight in the rain here we come waterproofs are going on as you see and uh, yeah we've got some lunch made we've got a flask of tea made and uh, we're going out morning again and um, there's not gonna be too much camera work going on today as you can probably see the weather um, I'm just walking up to the first lock to see what's happening. There are boats going through. Um, yeah. So, mm, oh. so Michael's cast off on his own and he's just coming through now and we're just going to moor up here directly in front of me. What I should say, apart from looking at Bobby Dazzler again, um, this is going to be fun because it looks like we're going through the locks on our own without another boat. Um, yeah what can I say uh, I'm just gonna uh, maybe knock on these two boats here and see if there's anybody around but um, everybody's telling me that there isn't just when we thought we were gonna have to do the whole flight of 21 locks on our own there's another boat coming yay I'm so excited oh that's gonna make life so much easier I think there's two people on it yes there is it's perfect yes I've just let the captain know as well Just waving them through. Yep. Yeah. Michael looking like a drowned rat already. Quick update from a drowned rat. Um, 
I've just gone through the second lock with our lucky mate, um, Narrabut Honley Lass, who is from Yorkshire. Um, and um, first lock went fine. Second lock we had to hold before we went into because the two boats in front of us were told to wait in their lock because one of the pounds ahead was nearly empty of water. So you can't believe it's raining so much and some of these pounds still don't have enough water in them. Um, so yeah, so we're going up behind two other boats and we're all just waiting to make certain that there's enough lo uh, water in all the locks. Such is life, this is just what happens. Um, we're well used to it. Oh yeah, okay, so if I look here. So there's two boats waiting in the lock in front, in the pound in front. There's two boats in this lock. Yep, so there's two boats in this lock here. There's two boats there waiting to go up and we're there having just come through the lock. So it's a right queue going ahead. This is gonna take hours, but never mind. I've made lunch, it's all ready for us. We've got some snacks waiting. Michael's made a flask and there'll be a coffee at some point. <laughs> Drowned rat report three. Um, yeah, it's far too complicated to try and explain. Let's just say there's boats waiting everywhere in locks, in pounds. Um, there's still locks with paddles that don't quite work properly. That's locks that slow fill it, uh, that fill slowly. Yeah, we just gotta be children relaxed about it and we'll get through when we get through. I'm just having a stroll up to see what the situation is. Not that I'm going to be able to change anything. Maybe give a little somebody a little hand if they need a hand. Um, yeah, it's fine. So I've just helped the um, lady on the wide beam get um, narrowboat or narrowboat wide beam Tinkerbell up through this lock here. The two boats in the lock below us are um, waiting to exit that lock um, and they'll only wait, come and exit the lock once I've opened these gates. That is a real problem lock, uh, lock 81. There's a ground stream paddle that's not working, there's a broken anti-vandal key so you can't get your anti-vandal in and there's an upstream paddle which isn't working properly either, it fills really slowly. A change of duties. So we've finally met other boats coming down to lock three. I'm really surprised about that. It's really early. So first boats crossed in the third lock from the bottom. Michael's uh, doing his locky duties and then we're gonna have to hold in the pound here waiting for um, the boats that have just gone up in front of us to go out of that lock. So probably gonna have to come alongside, I think. Big smile on my face because I've had my coffee, or coffees. Apologies for the um, look, it's not good. It stopped raining, but it absolutely threw it down for the first part of the, um, of the flight. Well, the first three locks of the flight. Yeah, so it's taken us two and three quarter hours to do three locks. You normally do three locks in an hour. So we're gonna be, it's gonna be, seven-ish by the time we finish I think. Watch this space. That's the fourth lock. I've no idea what's happening. Um, I think, if, I'm not certain if it's the one that um, fills really slowly. There's lots of chatting going on up there. That's one thing I do know. Oh, I think the boats in front of us are still going up in the lock. Yeah, this is gonna be a while. If anybody can tell me how to make waterproofs look um, attractive, uh, it's yeah then please do comment below tips greatly received Michael sat down now <laughs> it's all ground to a halt that's all I can say completely oh hang on incoming Michael just a second yes so there's two boats just coming into this lock now obviously they're gonna let those down um, and then you can come in so you just stay where you are received and those are both strapped together two that are coming in a strap together. Okay, yep, okay. You got all of that, so I'm gonna be here a while. That's the fourth lock just emptying. 
I've just been figuring we've done three locks in three hours and what have we got we've got 18 locks to go which means we've got another six times three hours to go no, no, no that's not possible so yeah basically we've done one lock an hour um, which equates to 21 hours with my maths which I suppose I'm an accountant so I should know so we started at nine o'clock this morning which means we're going to finish at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning uh, yeah that's right we've done one lock an hour I think because we're meeting boats now in the middle it's going to well not even in the middle at the early stage of the flight it's going to speed up but yeah so 21 hours in theory it's going to take us to do this lock flight I think Michael and I'll be in bed before then <laughs> should be two boats appearing from that lock shortly there we are gates are opening Yay! We're nearly ready to go in, the fourth lock. The excitement is just, well, it's just building. Two boats strapped together coming out of the lock. Apparently it's a really good way of... The next pound ahead. Uh, still low, but you'll be all right to stay in the middle. Um, but obviously, hopefully another lot of water comes down before you get in there. Yep, received, thank you. Double-breasted boat coming out. Only last is about to go in. lock and worked out what's going to happen there's two boats coming out of there this is the pound that's really shallow so we're going to go single file through the lock and the boats coming out of the lock oops the boats coming out of the lock ahead of us are going to come single file as well so you can see how low this pound is Michael's words were to me as I exited that lock don't worry if you go aground. Yeah, it's a huge problem. That is how shallow it is there. You can see all sorts of debris. Yeah, that's really, really shallow. We'll let some water through. <gasps> I don't want to go aground. <laughs> I'm not worried though. I'm actually not worried. Can I believe it? Yeah, I'm not worried. Such is life. Here they come. Yeah, single filed. I also noticed there's a huge bywash right before that lock so I just need to be prepared to be pushed really hard from the starboard side. Yeah, they're both through, excellent, so we've just got to get into this next lock and that's a massive bywash I'm talking about there, should be okay, I need to go over towards it I think. Yeah, so yeah, there's a massive amount of water coming over that bywash and Homley Lass has just gone flying over the other side of the canal. This is going to be a real challenge. There's a massive bywash from the right-hand side there and um, I'm going to have to yeah, go... Do you want to come over and let me do this or are you all right doing it? in the middle of the lock now. So you're gonna right, I don't know what you're gonna do. Because she's going on to the port starboard side of the lock now. Right. Yeah don't crash into the back of her. Alright, right. I think we're in. Oh my god. That was traumatic. The less said about that lock, the better. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're in. We're going into the next lock. That was uh, interesting. We made it. We're going to the lock. the locky 
easier. Oh yes, this is closing the lock gate. <laughs> I think we're just coming into the first of the two locks where there was the problem um, I don't know whether this is the one where there was a sill that had blown or this is the one where there was a sinkhole but I think there's lots of fencing on one side so yeah well let's have a look see if we can spot anything I'll just let um, Narrowboat on the last go in first and get settled before I go in so this pound I'm going through now is where the sinkhole was so it's literally there where you can see now so yeah so i'm going straight past the sinkhole which has taken five weeks to fix and this next lot we're going into is where the blown sill was there was a sinkhole right there you can still see they've got some of the uh, work materials there right i need to concentrate now This is a bit of a deeper lock, this one. We seem to be getting deeper the higher we go. I just say my feet are soaking wet. So it's a really dangerous situation here. The bottom of the ladder looks like it's come off and is sticking out. Really worried about um, about their boat. I'm trying to keep us completely over. Right, I think we're in. That is so dangerous. Can't believe it. You've got to have your wits about you. I've just come to set lock 74 and get it emptying for us to be able to go straight in. I noticed there was tons of water pouring out of the above lock. Anyway, I've run up there. Somebody left the paddles open. So, yeah. Anyway, so I've closed them. So I'm just going back to this lock now to get it ready for both the boats which are in. So I think we're nearly halfway up. I don't think we're quite halfway up. Um, and uh, CRT have just told us all to hold in the pounds or in the locks until they sort some pounds out further up, which has still got low water levels. Joy. And it's now half past two. Yeah, so we're not going to be finished before six at all. Gosh. up there is the last lock yes how exciting we're nearly done Very hard. 
So we've got to say a massive, massive thank you to Lee on the right there in the blue, who's helped us tremendously come up this flight of locks in the last sort of seven or eight locks. Incredible, brilliant. Couldn't have done it without him. I think he's part of the Wigan flight crew. Thank you. So we've just done the Wigan flight. Look, and our wonderful helpers are here. Just closing the lock gates for us. And we're just come, come alongside and get some water. And then we're gonna find somewhere to moor, literally around the corner. What time is it? It's half past four, so it's taken us, what's well, taken us seven and a half hours. Wet, bedraggled, but pleased we've made it. We've made it, so we're just looking for somewhere to moor now, but I think I think everybody's got the same idea because everybody's shattered. That was really hard work that. I'm certain we'll unpack it over a gin and tonic very shortly. Yeah, everybody's just coming alongside, taking the next space that's available. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed that uh, little adventure up the Wigan flight and now We've got yeah, some news, haven't we? A little bit of news for you. Yeah. Um, as it have been with us from the beginning, um, hope you've enjoyed watching um, most of our videos. If you haven't, there's plenty to catch up on. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just a bit of news. As you know, um, from the start of this adventure in 2011, we bought our first boat in Holland and took it down through uh, Belgium and France. I lived on it in th for three years in France and we've documented that throughout uh, our travels on board Arriva uh, and there have been some clips of things we've done on that. Uh, we then got um, an RV or a motorhome and we travelled around Europe consistently for five years. And we went we're, all over didn't we? Yeah, um, everywhere from Sweden, Sweden Germany, Denmark, Belgium, Germany, Portugal, yeah. France, Spain, everywhere. Um, uh, this is all before we started vlogging obviously and then we had our first narrowboat Amadeus who was 40 feet long and we've referred to that a little bit and then we got bored Arriva and you've seen what we've been up to for the last uh, 18 months since we started the channel. We've obviously got a bit of a wanderlust for travel and we decided to do a bit more traveling and um, we have been to um, several parts of the world to Asia and all over the place however it's a big wide world as we all know and we want to do a little bit more traveling. Yeah. Um, so the idea is now that we're going to take a few months away from the channel we're going to go and do some travelling. Now seems as good a time as any. Maybe get a little bit of winter sun. Maybe get a bit of winter sun to start with, yeah. And then we're going to um, yeah, do some travelling. We will be coming back, so stay tuned to the channel. Yeah, we won't just be keep, vlogging. keep your eye open. You never know when we might pop back up again. Yeah, we won't be vlogging what we're doing on our travels, but um, we will be back with, uh, with this channel, with Cruising on the Border, uh, later next year to carry on our travels. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and we'll also probably have a post or a mm. New Year um, little video for you of our adventures across the Leeds and Liverpool Canal as we take Border Riva back to, uh, to where we're both from, which is Yorkshire. So we're going to put that together probably in the uh, early part of the New Year for everybody. So keep watching. Yeah, look out for that yeah. on the channel. Um, uh, and in the meantime, there are 80 odd videos um, for you to go at. If you've not seen all of them, yeah. if you visit our homepage on the channel, you'll see uh, there are playlists in there. You'll see a tab that says playlist, yeah. click on that. There's one that shows you all our adventures from the start, every video in order. And then there are other playlists yeah, on there. Yeah, we've put playlists together for our adventures on the Kennet and Avon, which were fantastic. Um, coming, uh, doing the Macclesfield and our attempts on all the lock flights there and there's one for the Trent and Mersey so there's all sorts well, of... Well the Thames, the, the Thames, Thames yeah, during summer yeah, which was fantastic yeah. you can see what a difference that is going into central yeah. London um, So maybe if you're thinking of exploring a different yeah. part of the country and you want to have a look at our, our videos mm. you'll see lots of um, information and villages and towns that we travel to and a little bit of history as well Yeah and the places we moored at as well we, yeah. we found it really interesting when we started narrowboating to look at other people's channels to see actually where they'd been yeah. and where they'd moored 
uh, and you can see what's coming up and it gives you an idea of what things to look out for and there's also some adventure if you just like watching us on the boat then yeah please have a look at those there's 80 to go at that'll keep you going until we're back so I, um, I actually can't believe we've done yeah. 80 we've done 80 videos can you it is what it is it's, in, it's, in, it's incredible we've done 80. We, yeah. Um, it's been hard work we've been enjoyed it, it yeah. we've been all other people who vlog you'll know how hard a work it is but we've enjoyed it along the way um so yeah have a nice well, christmas yeah have a nice but we also before we say have a nice christmas we probably ought to say thank you to everybody that supported yeah. us um everybody that subscribed and and watched all the videos and all the fantastic comments that yeah. we've um, we've received because we've answered every single one personally um and all our regular viewers you all yeah. know who you are yeah thank we you we have a community now that that talk to us yeah. um that tell us and still still leave us comments let us know what you're up to yeah um everybody i'm not going to mention everybody by by name Gosh, but yeah. there's too many of you but um those of you that are our, our regular um, core of viewers you'll know who you yeah. are and thanks to every each if you've only ever watched one of our videos then please thank have a look you. back at the rest and thank you for to all of you that have watched um I know, and spent time watching them i know one thing that surprised me is just how many different places across the world people watch us from far from places yeah. and we hear lots of lovely stories in the comments about what's happening in their different areas and locations and a little bit of history and things and it's just fantastic so thank you ever so much yeah and keep dropping us comments yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah have a nice christmas good new year keep watching the channel enjoy the rest of our footage if you've not seen all the videos crack on with those yeah and keep watching the channel yeah. look out for us when we come back and we'll see you uh, in the new year yeah. yes <laughs> i've got one final thank you um, you know my love and some people would call it an addiction of coffee thank you thank you to every single person that's bought us a coffee we so appreciate it um, and yeah my coffee addiction as some people call it will carry on carry Sadly. on gonna, we're going to take a <laughs> coffee addiction across the world so you can guarantee wherever we go they'll be selling coffee so uh, enjoy Christmas and New Year and we'll thank see you in the New Year keep see watching you soon, see you soon bye, bye. We wait. And see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun